John, you've talked to me about your offensive struggles. Well, the, the biggest thing tonight is we didn't have discipline. We had, we were walking out of timeouts, guys were breaking off, we were doing <coughs> same thing defensively. We had talked about how we're playing certain things and guys did their own thing and then they had an excuse of why they did it. And, uh, the back play for a lob, you know, I mean, the guy that was supposed to, I was trying to do yeah, that, we had those 20 times. But, that being said, on the 21st of December, we're not good enough to go in an opponent's court that's a top 10 team or we're not. They're better than us right now. December 21st, and that's what we wanted to see. The issue for us, if we don't become more of a disciplined team, then we're just okay. I mean, Bam should have been getting the ball. We're taking step back, crossover, jacked up. You know, and, and it's one thing, okay, I made five in a row. Wait a minute, you missed six now. I told him, you're not making them today. Just go rebound. Biggest play of the game was the last rebound. He and Derek don't come up with that ball. But miss some free throws, it's, it's part of the game. I mean, but it's a great win for them. They'll have a better Christmas than this. No one laughs, but is everybody <laughs> born? Are these all our fans? Are no movie fans here? Were, not, were you proud of the way your guys, despite it all? No discipline, you Jerry. No discipline. And I told them that's not their fault, that's my fault. We'll get it right. Now, what, about, what about Snyder's performance? I mean, he was really good. They were all good. They, they fought. They, all of them did what they were supposed to do. Um, you know, made tough shots, came up with tough rebounds. Um, you know, we shoot 40%. Come on. I mean, and some of them were wide open shots. Um, but then again, we shot what from the foul line? We are lucky that we shot 65 because we missed a bunch. I mean, you know... But it was, believe me, the missed free throws and shooting for South been here, where we lost or played that way and still won. If we had discipline, we could have won the game. We had not. We walked out of one time out. I said, we're going to throw you the ball and shoot it. The guy got it and tried to throw a pass. I looked at him. I said, really? And he was open. But that was 15 times. But it's good for us. It's, it's you know, maybe, maybe they now know you just can't play just do your own thing and win a big time college game. You just can't. John, you've talked about how how well they share the ball. Was tonight just trying too hard to make it happen? Or well, neither team. They, they, we had 10 assists in 13 turns. They had 10 assists, 14 turns. I mean, it, it was two of us looking the same, to be honest with you. Um, and then the shots that we had that could have been assists, guys didn't shoot it. They drove it. And we were talking every time out, if you get that shot, you shoot. He drove it. I thought I had it in the shot clock violation. I mean, we just, there was 20 of those. But it's, I'm, I'm telling you, it's December 21st. We, we start four freshmen and a sophomore. We're not ready to go on an opponent's court that's a top 10 team and win. We're just not. And thank God it's December 21st. We've got a lot of time. John, they seem to have success driving the ball on you. Is that where discipline comes in as well? And we did on them, too, and we didn't. We wouldn't drive it. What do you think I was saying every huddle? <laughs> do not settle. Drive the ball. Go right at these guys. Don't get your shot blocked, because if you miss it, we'll rebound it. Just don't get it blocked. You know, the guys shoot them under. It's a, you know, it's a tough environment. This is, this is, they have to go through these kind of growing pains, and then I've got to be able to see what I have to do as a coach. And unless you're doing this kind of stuff, the North Carolina game, the Michigan State game, the Kansas game coming up, or game at Mississippi State, those, or Mississippi coming up, those, those are, that's why we do this. And uh, we're playing young guys, and it's hard. It's hard. John, how often did you try to emphasize getting the ball to Bam? What's that? How often did you try to emphasize getting the ball inside the Bam? Well, I, we didn't have 32 huddles. But every, any huddle we had, I talked about it. I talked about it at halftime. If you saw, we came out and tried to go to him. And, you know, I'm disappointed for him because he missed free throws because he's been shooting so well. And, you know, this is, these guys are 18, 19 years old. <coughs> Stuff happens. Now, why is no discipline your fault, and how do you fix that? Because if they're playing this way, I've accepted it. That's why it's my fault. And I told them then, in there. 
when we tell you to do something, if you don't do it, you're coming out. So if I tell you how we're playing, if you break down defensively and do your own thing, you're out. It's the easiest way. Bench is my friend. That's it. If you, we're telling you what we're doing and you just decide you're going to do your own thing, you're out. It's not when you miss a shot or you turn it over or you, no, no. If you're not doing what you are supposed to do for our team, that's discipline. And that's how you get a cohesive unit. They trust each other because they all know, I know he's going to do what he's supposed to because this coach demands it. If you accept mediocrity as a coach, you're going to get it every time. Do you have anything to do with it? <laughs> What's that? Do you have anything to do with it? The travel, fatigue, two big games, North Carolina for young players. It might, Jerry, it might, and, and I didn't sub enough. The Aaron Fox, then we had foul trouble, and I left him in. Um, but, you know, probably subbing more. Um, Isaac, the game looked above him, so I didn't, I just wrote Bam out. Probably not fair. But again, I was trying to win a game. You know, I'm trying to do what I can to win. And, and, and those guys, I like Michael Mulder went in and did some good stuff. Um, Dom did some good stuff. But again, we missed, you know. 19 for 29, it's hard to win on the road. Yeah. Yeah. And miss how many free throws? Ten. Late was one and nine. Was that just inevitable? We talk. Yeah, we talk. It's okay to be one and nine. Go rebound and defend. The issue was he started the game and he fouled because of lack of discipline. There was no reason to make that foul, but he doesn't have the discipline yet, so he fouls. Now the second one, which may be a foul, maybe not. It doesn't matter. They called it, so it is. Which means now you're out. You're not playing. And you know, I know there are guys that say, "Well, I play guys with two fouls." I just don't, unless I see the game getting away. The game never got away. We had a one-point lead. That's why I didn't put them back in. John, anything at all tonight have to do with you just haven't played that much half-court game this year with all the points you've been scoring? Mm -hmm. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. We're, you know, we, we just, again, the execution of what we're doing, you know, we're working on it every day in practice. It's how we play. We're not just flying up and down. We're working on half-court stuff because I know if you're going to win a championship, it's not running up and down and pressing and trapping and crazy and fouling because you're going to hit an official that's going to call fouls in that tournament. You're out. And at the end of the day, a good coach is going to make you play half court and you're going to make him play half court. So we're working on it. But again, we're 18 and 19. I mean, I'm out there with, you know. But I'm going to Christmas. If anybody's upset that I had to dress to get on the plane, that's on you, not on me. I am out of here with my family, like my team is, for four or five days, and then we'll come back and get ready for Mississippi. Thank you. Congratulations to Louisville and Rick. Great game, great job, great environment. It was great. Thank you. Bam out of Iowa and Darren Fox.